Now we are going to discuss the multiple choice question on a business statistics. It's a second part. Question number 39. If A and B are two events not mutually exclusive, then probability of at least one of them is given by probability of A union B is equal to probability A plus probability B minus probability of A and B. Option A is correct one. Question 40. If A and B are mutually exclusive events, then probability of at least one of them is given by probability of A union B is equal to probability A plus probability B. Option A is correct one. Question 41. If A and B are two independent events, then condition property is given by probability of A and B is equal to probability A into probability of B. Option A is correct one. Question 42. If A and B are two events and neither is null, then probability of both of them will occur is given by probability of A and B is equal to probability A into probability of B given A. Option second, probability A and B is equal to probability B into probability of A given by B. Here, both options are correct. Option C is correct one. Question 43. If A and B are two events in a sample space, the probability that B will occur given that A has already occurred is called as a conditional property and is denoted by property of B given A. Option A is correct one. Question 44. If A and B are two events in a sample space, the probability that A will occur given that B has already occurred is called as a conditional property and is denoted by probability of A given B. Here option A is correct one. Question 45. In complementary event, probability A plus probability A naught is equal to 1. Option A is correct one. Question 46. A bag contains 20 tickets marked with number 1 to 20. One ticket is drawn. What is the probability that it will be multiple of 2 or 5? We have to find out the probability that probability of 2 or 5. We may write it as a probability of 2 or 5. It means a probability of A union B. Here probability A is considered as probability of 2. The numbers multiplication by 2 up to 20 are 10. 10 numbers are the favorable numbers divided by total sample space are 20. Now probability of B means probability of multiplication of number 5. Multiplication number 5 up to 20 are 4 and total sample space are 20. Now probability of A and B means a probability of multiplication of number 2 and 5. It means a 2 into 5, 10, probability of 10, 10 multiplication number up to 10, 20 are 2 and total sample space are 20. Now, probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. Now see, probability A 10 upon 20 plus probability B 4 upon 20 and minus 2 upon 20. The answer is 10 plus 4, 14, 14 minus 2, 12, 12 upon 20 is the answers. Final answer is a 3 upon 5. C in answers. Option A is correct one. Question 47. A bag contains 20 tickets marked with number 1 to 20. One ticket is drawn at random. What is the probability that it will be multiple of 3 or 5? Here we have to find out the probability of 3 or 5. We may write it as a probability of 3 or 5. We denote it as a probability of A union B. Now see, probability of A means a probability of multiplication of 3 numbers. Multiplication number 3 up to 20 are 6. Divided by total sample space are 20. Now probability of B is a probability of multiplication number 5. 5 number multiplication up to 20 are 4 upon total sample space 20. Now probability of A and B is given that probability of 3 and 5. Just we have to multiply 3 into 5, 15, probability of 15. There is a probability of 15, multiplication number is only 1 and total sample space are 20. Now probability of A union B is given that probability A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. Now see probability A is a 6 upon 20. 
Now property of B is a 4 upon 20 and property of A and B is a 1 upon 20. Now see 6 plus 4, 10, 10 minus 1, 9 upon 20 is a answers. Option B is correct one. Question 48. Find the property that a card is drawn from pack is a red or a, an ass card. We have to find the property of red card or an ass card. We denote it as a probability of A union B. Here probability of A means a probability of red card. Red cards are total 26 and total sample pace are a 52. Now probability of B means a probability of an ass card. Total ass cards are 4 and total sample pace are 52. Now probability of A and B means probability of red card and a ass card. Red ass cards are a 2 and total sample pace are 52. Now probability of A union B is given that probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. Now see probability A is a 26 upon 52 plus 4 upon 52 minus 2 upon 52. Then final answer is a 28 upon 52. And the resulting answers is a 7 upon 13. This is the answers. C in option. Option B is correct one. Question 49. Find from that a card is drawn from pack is a club or a king card. We have to find the property of club or a king card. We denote it as a property of A union B. Here property of A means a probability of club card. Club cards are 13, total sample pace 52. Now property of B means a property of king card. Total king cards are 4 and total sample pace are 52. Now property of A and B means a property of a club and king card and a king card. There are only one card, total sample pace are 52. Now probability of A union B or A or B is given that probability A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. Here probability A is a 13 upon 52 plus 4 upon 52 minus 1 upon 52. Here Final answer is 16 upon 52 and resulting answers 4 upon 13. This is the answers. C in option. Option A is correct one. Question 50. Find probability that a card is drawn from pack is club card or picture card. We have to find out the probability of club card or a picture card. We denote it as a probability of a union B. Here probability of A means a probability of club card. Total club cards are 13. Total sample pace are 52. Here probability of B means a probability of picture card. There are total picture cards are 12 and total sample pace are 52. Now probability of A and B is given that probability of club card and a picture card. There are club picture cards are 3 and total sample pace are 52. Now probability of A union B is given that probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. Here probability A is a 13 upon 52 plus 12 upon 52 minus 3 upon 52. Here 13 plus 12, 25, 25 minus 3, 22 upon 52. And final answer is a 11 upon 26. This is the answer C in option. Option C is correct one. What is from that? Mr. John was born on Sunday. There are total sample pace are 7. 7 days in a week. Therefore, total sample pace are 7. Now, 
here our sample paste sunday is only one sunday therefore one upon seven this is answer c in option option c is correct one question 52 out of all the integers from 100 an integer is chosen at random what is the chance that selected number is not divisible by 7 here total sample space are 100 now we have to find out the numbers not divisible by 7 first we try to find out the numbers divisible by 7 these are the 7 14 21 28 18 98 19 these are the total 14 numbers these are the divisible by 7 now we have to find out the not divisible by 7 total numbers are 100 and divisible by 7 are 14 numbers then remaining numbers 86 these are the not divisible by 7 now property of not divisible by 7 is a 86 upon 100 and resulting answers is a 43 upon 50 this is the answer c in option option a is correct one question 53 a bag contains six working and four non working bulbs three bulbs are selected one by one without replacement and fitted in socket find the property of getting some light in the room here total sample space are six working bulbs and a four non working bulbs here first we try to find out the non working bulbs all of the three bulbs are non working bulbs we find the property of non working bulbs is a at first bulb there is a four non working bulbs 4 upon 10 second time non working bulbs remains 3 and total bulbs remain 9 third time non working bulbs remains 2 and total bulbs remains 8 Now, by simplifying it, four ones are four, four twos are eight, two twos cancels, three ones are one, three threes are nine. Answer is a one upon thirty is a non-working bulb. So we have to find out the some light in the room. It means a uh, at least one bulb we have to working bulbs. We find the property that one minus one upon thirty, it comes twenty nine upon thirty is a answers C in option. Option B is correct one. Question fifty four. If probability of A is equal to K, probability of B is equal to point three, probability of A union B is equal to point seven. Find the value of K. If A and B are exclusive, if A and B are exclusive, probability of A or B is given that probability of A plus probability of B. Now putting the values, probability of A union B is a point seven, probability of A is a K. Plus probability of B is a point three. By simplifying, point seven minus point three is the value of K is equal to point four. This is the answer. C in option D is correct one. Question fifty five. If probability A is equal to K, probability B point three, probability of A in and B is a point seven. Find K if A and B are independent. If A and B are independent. Probability of A and B is given that probability of A into probability of B. Here probability of A is a k and probability of B is a point three. Now probability of A union B is given that probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. Now putting the values, probability of A union B is given. Point seven probability A is a k plus probability B point three minus point three k. Here point seven is equal to k minus point three is a point seven k plus point three by simplifying or by transferring point three on Left hand side, point seven minus point three is equal to point seven k. Now point four is equal to point seven k. Now point four upon point seven is equal to k. This is answer four upon seven. This is the answer C in option. Option C 
see is correct one. A bag contains two white balls and two black balls. The balls are drawn from box one by one till the bag is empty. Find property of getting balls of alternate color. There are two possibilities we name as a property A is equal to property of white balls and second is a black balls and third is a white balls and a fourth one is a black ball. Here we find the property of this one. Property of white balls are 2 upon 4. Second time black balls are 2 upon 3. Third time 1 upon 2 and last one one black ball remains 1 upon 1. These answers 1 upon 6 property. Second option is a property of B is given that property of first ball is a black and second is a white and third is a black and last one is a white. Same property like this one. Property of first ball black will 2 upon 4 into second is a white balls 2 upon 3 into 1 upon 2 into 1 upon 1. This answer is a 1 upon 6. Now, probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. Just we have to make additions 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 6. Answer is 2 upon 6 and final answer is a 1 upon 3. This is answers C in option. Option B is correct one. Question 57. A function used to denote the numerical values of outcomes of a random experiment is called as a random variable. Here option A is correct one. Question 58. If the random variable x takes only a finite or countable infinite values, it is called as a discrete variable. Here option C is correct one. Discrete random variable. Question 59. If the random variable x takes uncountable infinite values, then it is called as a, a continuous random variable. Option D is correct one. Question 60. The way in which total property of a sample space is distributed over various values of random variable is called as a probability distribution. Here option A is correct one. Question 61. Generally, a continuous probability distribution is given in the form of function f of x and f of x is called as a Options are given probability function, probability density function, probability mass function, option D, B or C. Here density and mass function are the same as, therefore option D is correct one. Question 62. Which of the following is a properties of factorial notations? Options are given 0 factorial is equal to 1, 1 factorial is 1, A and B, none of these. Here A and B are correct one. Therefore, option C is correct one. Find the value of 3 factorial. 3 factorial is find out as a 3 into 2 into 1. This answer 6. This answer option D is correct one. Find the value of 5 factorial divided by 4 factorial. We write it as a 5 factorial upon 4 factorial. We write it also as a 5 into 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial. 4 factorial is cancel 1 and final answer is remains 5. This is answer C in option. Option D is correct one. The probability distribution of the number of the success thus determined is called as a binomial distribution. Option A is correct one. Question 66. Which of the following properties of a binomial distribution? Mean is equal to NP, variance is equal to NPQ and SD is equal to root NPQ. These are the properties of binary distribution. Therefore, answer all of the above is correct one. Option D is correct one. These are the multiple choice questions. Remaining question will continue on next part. Okay. Thank you.